Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. Hi, Mia. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Can someone please mm. tell me what the hell is going on here? That's right. <laughs> the place is full of nothing but blood and death. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell are those? <laughs> Mm, my queen. Chris with a baby. Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, man. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> that was amazing, but I still have fuck so yes. many questions. Let's take a look. It's, everything's happening a mile a minute. Everything's happening a mile a minute. I thought there was going to be we're more detail. An exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. All right, that trailer was hype. Let's look at this gameplay. Just Caption like on PS5. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. This setting is Players sick. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. Oh. As you've noticed by now. Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Rip Ethan, right? <laughs> oh, my. Look at this man. Dude, this mansion looks gorgeous. It's such a departure from the house. You'll see a lot of those seven. little details come to life here. God, the team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Dude, this atmosphere is freaking nuts. From art nuts. design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. <laughs> now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for you. Oh, let's come on. Uh, Ethan? Ethan? Man blood. <laughs> Man blood? Man, you got a fetish and I'm not with it. Ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. Mm. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Mm. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. Man. Uh, 
It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Oh, he gets a push. I don't remember him having that. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting. What is that? Change up your strategy <laughs> to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. <laughs> There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winter. Are you selling the sausages? I know my name. Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. This game is gonna be so dope. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Right. Yay. Smash away with your trusty knife. <laughs> There's plenty of items to find in your trap. Ethan's very rude. He just goes into houses smashing vases and glass cabinets. Terrible house kiss. Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of course it goes without saying the that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, sweet. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Oh, man. Oh, man. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. <laughs> Well, that's one way to end the video. Bruh. Now we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village. Let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Oh, I want a demo. Hey, Tech, can you send me your PS5? <laughs> for this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan. But as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Oh. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. That whole demo isn't even the game. It's not even. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. I can't wait to play So we'll have a separate game. new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. I am so excited. <laughs>